This is my favorite sequencer for modular. Hands down. Metron by WMD. With the Volterra Expander. Need to have Volterra Expanders. The more, the merrier. I would like maybe even two more. Why do you need them? Because they allow you to sequence CV per step, similar to an Octatrack or Digitacker, any other electron gear, or similar to a tracker. Why is that so cool and modular? Because it lets me create the ultimate drum machine, the ultimate groove box. And that's what I tried to do here with my system. And let me give you an example of why this is so cool. Okay. I'm going to use plats because it's just so easy to demonstrate things with. We're going to create a little chord machine that I actually am in control of and can sequence very quickly. Volt per octave into my Volterra. So my Volterras are set to different CV ranges. Right now this one, number one, is quantized to uh, notes. And the second one is negative five to positive five volts. So, which is good for me using it to sequence values or unquantized values. So we'll take this and put that into harmony, right? Because that's what's gonna control the quality of the chord. Put that in here. And now let's throw down some notes and start her up. Okay, so now we can take, I don't know, let's use two different chords here. Press this and it will override whatever you're hearing, basically. This lets you get a real-time audition of a value and when you let go of the note here, it will revert back to what the sequencer is playing. The real sequence, that is. I'll give you an example of what I mean. Okay, so I put that on here, but it changed the sound everywhere because now over here, the value is only being set here, right? We're on a modular synth, so it's not like what we get in a groove box. Okay, but well, let's change the quality of this chord. Okay, now let's change the quality of this one. Let's try it again. That's cool, that works. Okay, you get why this is so cool? Right, okay. Now, if I take this, and instead of doing the quality of the chord, let's do the model. And maybe, let's just use every step. And let's go nuts. Make a crazy drum machine. Don't mind if I do. See why this is cool. We're already off to a good start with just starting a new track. Nice little bed for it. Maybe we'll use the div kit oct here. Mm. We'll attenuate that value. Don't want it going 
two nuts. I'll have that go in the harmony here. Yes. How cool is that? Right? I've, look what I've done. There's barely any patching going on, and I took a minute. I have not stopped recording. This is not edited. It's just instant fun. Okay. Let's get a kick drum, huh? silly but it didn't have to be <laughs> but this is how I prefer it let's go into our fill effects Hold a value, so we could go like this. Oh, what? How about an odd number? So sick. Okay, how about a drum fill? things to be a part of the, the fill effects, you can hold the two or three down and just take them out, right? So say we want it to do crazy looping, but we don't want it to loop the kick. Let's take the kick out. So we still have our four on the floor, but this is going nuts still. So cool. Now, unlatch. Some of them you have to be really careful of, you'll like destroy your patterns. Record quantized, uh, record unquantized, nudge forward, nudge back, next variation, logic and Boolean logic. Get right out of town. 
we'll use that, that sounds fun. Okay, so if we want to use stuff, we just choose it. Right now, every time this uh, clock sends out a gate to the assign in, it's triggering this fill effects. So, put on roll. Now if we sped up, let's choose a different clock. What? It's doing drum fills for us. How about loop? Take the kick out of it. So you have two of these assign ins. So we can make it go even loopier. some really wacky stuff with this. I like to make dance music, so I'm gonna stick with this stuff. Okay, super cool. Get out of here. If you wanna change how these things react or control things, you simply, here's how you stop it by the way, you have to hold tempo, hit this button. That's how you start and stop the clock. A little strange, you get used to it though. So press global and turn it up. Oh, and here's how you change how this uh, Volterra first channel reacts. Zero to five Q quantized, right? We want, you can also do user scales. You can create your own scales. Unquantized. Quantize one to one. Yes. Is that the one I like? I think I like that. For plats, I think I want zero to five. When I'm using the Erica since I like, um, I mean, negative five to positive five for plats, zero to five for the Ericas, just cause it works out better. All right. Go ahead, three. stuff like take this uh, I'm sure we'll use three and sequence maybe the surface because that has a very dramatic effect press that so we can audition it Back at it. 
best sequencer ever. Hands down. You can also just hit record and twist the knob. So we could um, let's do it with the hi-hats. More patch cables. We want to make a sequence longer than just the 16 steps we're looking at. This is so simple. Hold down a track, hit pattern length, and go boom. Now it's 64 steps. Back to 16. 64, 16. Want to see these tracks individually? Do that. Want to see what's on your Volterra? Hold that button. You can see that we've adjusted Volterra values on these steps. Want these steps to be longer? hit this button, or I'm sorry, hold down pattern length, turn this knob, now we're in control of this, and now we can change the length of a step. So if we wanted the Volterra only to have, to reset every time it gets to step 10, we could hit step 10. There we go. We'll put on 16 because that's what we're doing. <laughs> okay, so another thing that's similar to Electron stuff, that it has a random feature. Okay, we're on our hi hats down here. Random percentage, fifty percent chance that plays. Seventy-five percent chance on that one. Ten percent. you but this is too much fun okay variations there's five of them there's a million patterns in this thing it's insane how much you can save on it I mean it's just basically tracker data and it has a you know I don't know what that is eight gigabyte card I mean you'll never you can never fill it up okay so we can go duplicate and then hit A, and then hit B, paste to B. Cool. Now we can go into variation B. It's exactly the same, right? But that's more gates. Back to it at the right time. 
now we're back to that other variation. So we can do this, like, go to our fill effects, uh, loop it on, like, 8. Low pass filter. Back over this pattern. Super performative. Reminds me of using my Octatrack and some other electron gear and resampling it, fading over to one version that I have sampled, and then sliding back over. I mean, obviously, I'm not doing that, but the way it performs is why I do that on the Octatrack. I don't have to resample because I'm just able to put in new sequences on the fly so easily. It's lovely. Just lovely. All right. Uh, that's why I love the Metron, and that's why I love the Volterra. I also love everything else in this case, but I just wanted to share my love for this sequencer with you. Thanks for watching.